I'm back! Now that the dust has settled and my videos are all restored, now that I've had a short break and a refreshing change of perspective, it's time to get back to work. I'm announcing a few changes here. One is that I've launched Concordance.com, my new blog site. This will be my primary workspace, and it will remain the clearinghouse for all my content. The next time YouTube gets it in their heads that my video doesn't meet community guidelines, they can suck it, because that content will always be mirrored to Concordance.com. I did debate completely shutting down my YouTube presence, partly because of my frustration, but also because this site is starting to feel a little bit stale and commercially focused. It's not the YouTube I signed on to. However, I'm going to keep it open for one very compelling reason. You. All of you. I owe it to you, my viewers and subscribers, to keep making these videos available on this forum. I invest several hours into each one, but all of you combined are investing hundreds of hours of your own valuable time listening and responding to my arguments. It would be unfair of me to unilaterally withdraw from this conversation because I'm annoyed with a third party, the buffoons who run YouTube Google, who, in case I haven't mentioned this, can suck it. It did occur to me when I launched Concordance.com that I had a chance to reinvent my presence on the internet, so there's some bad news and good news on that front. The bad news is that I'm going to be putting Concordance answers on hold for the foreseeable future, as well as the Critical Thinking 101 course materials. The good news is that it would be picked up in mixed media format on my blog site as time allows. Concordance.com will become my sandbox where I expect a smaller but more forgiving audience to beta test my new projects. I'll have my research materials there, lists of citations, full text papers and discussions, and I hope to have bi-weekly journal club blog entries. It's easier to produce a text entry than a full production video, but I intend to draw the scripts from popular blog articles. On a personal note, things are also going to be slow for a few more months yet, as the Concordance family have decided to put our house on the market and start looking for something that meets our needs a little better. That means we're on home improvement and decluttering projects on the weekends, and that doesn't leave me a lot of free time. On a positive note, my dead headset microphone that has loyally served me for the last few years has been buried with all honors in a shallow grave, and I've acquired a Yeti USB mic. It produces an excellent sound quality for narration, and I hope you'll notice the richer sound. We'll be looking for our next house to have a dedicated office area for me, rather than the breakfast nook slash laboratory area slash studio I'm using now. I may even put up a green screen for special effects. I've been productive in my off time. Look for videos on antidepressants and animal research coming up in April. Right now I'm going to be launching my mission statement in a separate video, and next week I'm going to take on the libertarian argument, the idea that the government has no right to regulate anything that doesn't result in harm to others. It should be nicely inflammatory and generate some discussion. Thanks to all of you who have stuck with me over the years. Sometimes the sheer futility of promoting reason and critical thinking on the internet overwhelms me. And it's that short message from a viewer that gives me hope that my small voice is reaching someone. It's a great feeling, and I appreciate your time and support. Thanks for watching.